So here, let's take some bets on, on what each of us think, uh, think are gonna happen. So we've got four different panels, two different thicknesses of uh, fiberglass. We've got 12 layers and 20 layers. Okay. We're gonna, now we're just talking 762 by 39, AK-47. Okay, so let's take bets. Okay, Jeff, you're the one with the most experience, so we gotta like make our decision, not let hit what he says color, what yep. we think. Yep. What do you think's gonna happen? What you've put together here, we've got a, we've got a definite maybe that this will work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's pretty ingenious. Um, we've got shape, we've got marbles, which are obviously glass, or, or, which are very hard. Um, that stress fracture, because we've made up a whole bunch of different areas, the stress fracture, um, in theory, should not jump between the gaps. So the idea being we're deforming the bullet and we're bleeding off as much energy as possible so that the fiberglass and the steel behind it can be that catcher's mitt to, to catch mm -hmm. that bullet. All right, what's your bet, Evan? I, I think we're at a definite maybe. And, uh, and obviously, you know, looking at it, I think the single layer of marbles, uh, I really don't think that that's gonna penetrate or it's it's going to penetrate all the way through. I think it'll actually fracture out some of that epoxy and the double layers, uh, I, I think we're still gonna blow through, but I think it'll be less. I know 12 layers will stop a nine mil. And I think that the marbles will reduce that 762 okay. to about the energy of a nine mil, just right. one layer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb. I don't think the thinner stuff's gonna stop it. I don't think it's quite enough. You know, and then you gotta factor in that piece of 16 gauge Absolutely. steel on yeah. the back. So it's very light steel, it's very, very thin. It's it's mm -hmm. it's about a, a little bit less than a 16th of an inch. Right. But still, by the time the bullet gets there, I think it's game over. Look at that, stopped it. Look at that, stopped it cold. It didn't even penetrate into the uh, fiberglass. <laughs> okay, we know at least that works. So look at the dimple. So it caused a flex. But look at this return back to shape. This is dead flat again, but this will sh this shows you what this did. This deformed right here mm -hmm. and caused a slight dimple here, about a quarter inch dimple at its deepest, and then detached that whole steel piece off the back. For this next test, let's leave this steel in there. We'll just let it sit there. So we know marbles will stop that round, at least in a double layer. Yep. We gotta beat all this. So now we can see if there's enough up here to cause the bullet to yaw. It definitely penetrated the woving some. Oh, no go! <laughs> Woo! Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. No penetration, but wow. it, did, it did deform. Look, it didn't even penetrate the, the woving. I mean, it, it distressed the shit out of it, but look. We got a, we got the, is the projectile stuck in the fiberglass? Yes, most of it. Yep. But look, it's highly vaporized. Look at that. Let's dig that out. But so look at that deform. So obviously it, it still, it doubled the amount of, uh, uh, you know, but it still didn't make it through the woven. Yeah. So this is bare minimum. One layer is bare minimum. Bare minimum. Let's keep it from going through.